What a beautiful time to be alive. No longer does anything have to make sense. The entire world's financial markets are now controlled by a few billionaires' Twitter accounts. Just listen to Elon Musk and Snoop Dogg. Dogecoin is a great investment with incredible technology and endless utility, and best of all, it's a math-based coin, so it's more stable than fiat money. Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, just made his riskiest bet ever, linking Tesla's fortunes to Bitcoin. His car firm Tesla has said it bought about $1.5 billion of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin in January and expects to start accepting it as payment in the future. He removed the tweet days later but has continued talking up Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, including Dogecoin, which jumped 50% after his endorsement. Tesla plans to accept Bitcoin as payment for its products. Tesla is betting big on Bitcoin, saying it may soon accept the digital currency as payment for its cars. Tesla, the most valuable car company on the stock market said it is now holding some of its cash in Bitcoin rather than traditional currency. In its annual filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Tesla said that it expects to begin accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for our products in the near future, initially on a limited basis, which we may or may not liquidate upon receipt. In addition, Tesla said it had invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin so far, as part of a decision to invest a portion of the company's cash in certain specified alternative reserve assets. Tesla lists $19 billion in cash and cash equivalents on its balance sheet as of December 31st. The announcement gives the cryptocurrency a fresh dose of legitimacy. The price of Bitcoin was up 12% in morning trading on the news. Shares of Tesla too were up 2% in early trading. Bitcoin is going to be the next Tesla-like bubble. The volume is coming from all the people who think that Elon can do no wrong. This is just emotion taking over now. Another 7,000 companies signed up for MicroStrategy's Bitcoin program. Tesla may be nothing compared to what's coming. Stocks are in a bubble, but Bitcoin is the mother of all bubbles. Bitcoin prices have doubled in less than a month to more than $40,000. It rose more than 20% in just the past five days. Some Bitcoin bulls argue that this stunning surge is justified, but many experts on Wall Street are warning that this won't end well. Bitcoin saw a dramatic rise during the past two years. A surge of roughly 1,000% since the beginning of 2019. Bitcoin topped $47,000 in Tesla-fueled rise, it was $9,000 at this time just last year. This is far greater than the gains for other assets that have enjoyed massive run-ups in the past few decades. That includes a surge in gold prices of more than 400% in the late 1970s, as well as other notable investing manias, Japanese stocks in the late 1980s, Thailand's stock market in the mid-1990s, dot-coms in the late 1990s, and housing prices in the mid-2000s. Those sectors all enjoyed triple-digit percentage gains before crashing down to earth. Bitcoin is not like stocks. It is almost like a roller coaster ride. If you're okay at high risk, go for it. If you can, wait for it to drop. Bitcoin is good for short-term investments, when you're lucky to invest in the right time, the coin price gets higher and higher. Bitcoin rally may be the mother of all bubbles. And the bubble continues to get bigger and bigger. When it'll pop, nobody knows. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. The Bitcoin community has different views of what the asset means, there is no unified vision within the community, but rather a set of different views for the long-term potential of the protocol. Some view it as the world's future money, while others view it as digital gold, a store of value, or a bank in cyberspace that will exist alongside sovereign-issued currencies. For example, Michael Saylor, the billionaire founder and CEO of MicroStrategy MSTR, the first public company on a major US stock exchange to invest corporate funds in Bitcoin as its treasury reserve asset, to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars, has stated that he doesn't view Bitcoin as a currency, but rather as a digital savings bank. Bitcoin is not a currency, nor is it a payment network. It is a bank in cyberspace, run by incorruptible software, offering a global, affordable, simple, and secure savings account to billions of people that don't have the option or desire to run their own hedge fund. Michael Saylor. 
Others view Bitcoin as simply a casino gambling chip. Bitcoin has zero intrinsic value. After the collapse, society will not be recapitalized with Bitcoin. A Ponzi scheme is a form of fraud that lures investors and pays profits to earlier investors with funds from more recent investors. Yes, people are making money with Bitcoin, people made money on Enron too. It's okay to hold your Bitcoin and watch it grow, but one fact is, it might get lower, and you lose all, that's why you need to learn to trade. When this one pops, there won't be a lot of hiding places. Elon is now a pumper of an unscalable computer code trying to pass off as currency, hard asset, commodity, money, or whatever else the Bitcoin bulls label their digital illusion of wealth these days. They are gambling on people still jumping into the thing. Pure speculation and gambling against the currencies of our societies. Potentially destructive. The inflationary US dollar is more destructive. With $1.9 trillion on the way. How can people believe that Bitcoin will become the main currency when it's so volatile? Imagine going to the grocery shop with $100 worth of Bitcoin just to find out that it's dropped to $90 when you're at the cashier. A currency should indeed serve a society. There would not be a need for Bitcoin if we had a sound money system. Instead, all we hold is other people's liabilities. Pretty simple. Once governments create their own national e-currencies, Bitcoin will no longer be viable to anyone but the underground rackets. E-currency will be easier to audit and provide more control with less cost to the central banks and companies. Crypto will be ostracized, so give it time. I say within five years, Bitcoin has time to rise, but once global cash gets turned digital, it's going to be a game over for crypto. Governments are already trying to pull the rug on this. If Bitcoin creates billions or trillions in wealth, none of which is being taxed, wouldn't governments find a way to take a piece? They can't control Bitcoin itself, but they can control the thousands of companies who handle Bitcoin. What is to stop them from banning Bitcoin transactions? I believe China did this. At that point, it would just be black market sales. At some point, the IRS is going to want their share. I wouldn't think that they would allow billions or trillions to go untouched forever. It is tax evasion. Maybe when these Bitcoin baggers wake up tomorrow, they find themselves unable to sell any Bitcoin for money. Bitcoin crashes to zero, and all Bitcoin exchanges are down like Robinhood. Tulips, can't buy a sandwich with it, Ponzi, pumping, Musk manipulation, a bunch of numbers, etc. If 10 years ago the 1% that read up on Bitcoin had at least some faint idea, then today, unfortunately, nobody knows what Bitcoin is, what it isn't, and what it's all about. But everyone has an opinion. The more you listen or read about it, the more opinions you hear, and one is wilder than the other. Like there's a prize for the craziest analogy. Elon says it will be used to transact with. Um, if the currency in your wallet could go up or down in US dollars by any percent the next day, why would you ever want to spend it, and why would the seller ever want to accept it? The only reason fiat money works as a medium of exchange is that its value is relatively predictable day to day, even with inflation, the price can reflect this. But when you could have inflation or deflation by any percent from 0 to 50 in either direction, excuse me, how does it work? The answer, it doesn't. And Elon knows it. I wouldn't be surprised if, in a day or two, he liquidates the entire lot and tweets, oops guys, fat fingers, meant to buy $1.50 worth, sorry about the 7 extra zeros. And everyone else who bought high will be left holding the bag. All crypto is pyramid schemes. Bernie Madoff's got nothing on this one. However, once everybody buys into it, then, like the stock market, it becomes part of the system at the core of the economy, and it's no longer in anybody's interest to see it go down except for the market makers out there with the inside knowledge to have the balls to short the market at all the right times. But that's another story that doesn't matter for the other 99%. Best bet, either speculate with the cash you wouldn't miss losing or stay out of the game. Can't understand the rationale why a coin that was created to replace currency is trading at this astronomical price, and so many investors will lose everything when it crashes, and there's nothing to claim or hold on to of value when it's just a computer-generated coin. There will be an epic crash in the future. Even if Bitcoin crashes though, it might only head back to 30k, 50k, 100k, after this bull run it's in. It depends on how this all pans out. 
What gives something value? If it provides a service to humanity. As worthless as I believe Bitcoin is, if it becomes a safe haven accepted currency by all to avoid centralized banking, it's definitely valuable. All currencies are worthless. It is just a matter of people agreeing on a common one to use. The government's reckless printing of US dollars, then giving it away for free, has driven people to find a new currency that the government can't manipulate and devalue. That's Bitcoin. Hate to say, but you'll see Bitcoin closer to $75,000 than $25,000. Again it will be the best asset 11 years in a row. It's has been for 10 years now. Have fun watching, don't be scared of big drops. 10 to 12% in my portfolio, and don't forget I have gold 3% and silver 5% too, not just that brand new digital gold. This was the Atlantis report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.